Hello everyone, Sharif Abu Zaid here with a new video. And in today's video, I want to show you a free plugin that you can use to create pop-ups like this. Let's click refresh. Pop-up like this where you can ask people to sign up, for example, for a 50% discount code or even for a free lead magnet. And when they add their name and click subscribe here, they will be redirected into a thank you page and also will be added into a free email marketing platform called Fluent CRM. All the plugins that you are going to use during this video are free. So please stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Now let me show you the plugins that we need to have installed inside our WordPress website to have this complete system of lead generation for your online course system or your online um, or your online e-commerce website. So now these are all the plugins that we need to have. Uh, let me click active or active plugins. We need to install Fluent Forms, which is the plugin that we'll be using to create our sign up form. And also we need to have our uh, or the Fluent CRM email marketing automation plugin for WordPress, which will act as our email marketing uh, platform such as MailChimp or MailerLite or ActiveCampaign. But this is a free one. And also we need to install Spectra, which is our page builder or pop-up builder plugin that we will use to add this pop-up effect. Now let me show you how you can integrate the three of them. All of these are free plugins as I mentioned. If you like to install any of them, you just click add new, add the name of the plugin and then click install and activate the plugin. Now the first step that we need to do is to add a list inside our email marketing platform which is Fluent CRM. So let's go to Fluent CRM, click lists, and here you need to add a list or create a list for uh, that will include everyone who signs up for your free lead magnet or 50% uh, discount code. There is an easy way you can do this. You just click create list, add a name for the list here, and now the list will be created. This is our first step. The second step is to create our sign up for. To do this, we need to use the Fluent Forms plugin. So let's click Fluent Forms and let's click Add uh, or New Form. And let's, you know what? You can choose from a template. Let's choose from a template. Let's let's search for the, uh, yes, this one. This is the uh, inline opt-in form. Let's choose it. Now this is our opt-in form. We can add this opt-in form to any place inside our WordPress website. It can include the email address and the subscribe button. Of course, if you like to add the name, you can just drag it and add it here and the name will be added. Uh, but I like to just use the um, email address only for this uh, tutorial. Let's click save form. Now we need to integrate our um, Fluent Form form with our Fluent CRM. So when someone clicks uh, to sign up, they will be added automatically into Fluent CRM. To do this, we need to go to settings uh, and integrations. We need to go to, uh, let's go to configure integrations. Click here and you'll find Fluent CRM integration already activated because Fluent CRM and Fluent Forms were created by uh, the same company. So let's click uh, Fluent CRM. Here you can just give this a name or, and then we need to add, uh, to choose the list. So if someone completes this form, which list inside Fluent CRM that uh, we need to include them. And then we need to map the email address field. Let's click here, click email, and we are done. Actually, there is nothing uh, else we need to do at this stage. So let's click save fee. So now when someone signs up, they will be added into Fluent CRM. And then I think they need to receive an email with your 50% uh, discount code. And this can be done under the email notifications. And here we can just click add notification. Call this, let's call this 50% off notification. Now you need this email to be sent to the people who signs up. To do this, you need to click select field, select email, and let's add a subject, uh, discount code of discount code. If you want, uh, let's add a, let's add this content as our email. And let's click hi and give them this. Let's call thanks. If you want to add the name of the people, if maybe you are adding the first name and the email address, you can just click here. If you want to mention their name, 
you can just click in the short codes here and choose the name the name will be uh, will appear here if you add it as a field inside your sign up form i think now we are done with um, fluent form so let's click save settings or save notification so inside fluent forms we have created our sign up form added an integration to fluent crm and added our email notification now it's time that we add our pop-up uh, to our website to do this we need to go to spectra and then click pop-up builder and let me just you know disable this one so let's make this draft this is an old one that I have created. Let's click create pop-up. And let's give this a name, for example, 50% of pop-up. And let's choose pop-up. And inside this canvas, we can add everything that we need inside this canvas. So the way that I like to use uh, the default uh, block editor for WordPress is to click this document overview so I know exactly what I'm adding and so I can control everything inside this canvas so now as you as you can see we are inside the Boba builder and inside the Boba builder we have an info box actually we need to uh, delete this one and let's add a heading and let's say sign up and get a 50 and get a 50% of discount code let me fix this let's center line this now we need to add our uh, uh, sign up form to add this let's click here add after click the plus button and search for fluent forms and let's choose our form. I think this is one. It's called subscription form number three. Yes, that's it. And below it, we can add any text. I mean, we can add here images, buttons, anything that we can, we need to add. We can add it inside this uh, uh, pop-up builder. So let's add, add after. Let's add like a, um, a line for as a disclaimer for our privacy policy. Add it like this. Let's center line it as well. If you like to add a paragraph below the heading, you can just uh, click here, click add after, and then add the form or add the um, add the line or the paragraph that you want to add. So let's remove this one to make it look nicer and remove this as well. I think now our pop-up is almost ready. So let's click publish and publish again. Now, if you want to make some um, style changes to the pop-up, you can actually do this inside the pop-up builder. And here you'll find many options that you can choose from. For example, if you would like to uh, control the uh, pop-up width, you can just do it from here. This is how you can control it. If you like to control the height, you can just do it from here. This is how you can control it. If you want to change the background color, this can be done under style. If you want to change the background, you can just do it from here. Let's add a background color of this. For example, you can do it from here, but of course we don't like this um, color. So let's go back and refresh here. I mean, there is a ton of features you can do here. If you like to add a box shadow, you can do it from here. I like to add box shadows sometime. Uh, also, you can control the close button. I mean, what is the size of the close button? Do you like to make it more subtle? You can just click here to increase the size. You can even add or change the color of the close button like this. Now, I think our form is almost ready. Let's click update. And let's go to our website. Let's open it in incognito mode. And here we go. This is our sign up form. But there is one last tip that we forgot to add, which is adding or when someone signs up, they will be redirected into a thank you page. And we can do this under the Fluent Forms um, um, settings. So let's go to, let's let's click refresh here because this one doesn't show Fluent Forms. And let's go to Forms. And you can actually do this under the settings and integration. So let's open settings. And let's wait for a second. Confirmation settings. Yes, we need to click here and choose that if someone signs up, they will be redirected into our thank you page. Of course, you need to have already created this 
page and let's click save settings so we have our confirmation settings set up email notifications and integration with fluent crm so let's go back again and let's click refresh and let me add this name and let's click subscribe and now we are redirected into the thank you page so let's go back to fluent crm and see if we have a new contact let's see what shall happen okay we have our new contact here has been added using the fluent form pop up uh, fluent form sign up form included inside the pop up builder created with spectra so up till now we have been using everything for free fluent forms for free fluent crm for free and also the pop up builder for free but to make this more powerful we need to control maybe where do we want this pop up to appear and also, also we need to have more uh, granular control over if you like to show this pop-up in exit intent or if someone spends a few seconds inside our uh, WordPress website because if they spend more time browsing our website, this means they are more interested and more engaged and now we can ask them to sign up for our lead magnet or to sign up for our 15% of discount code. And this can be done using Spectra Pro version of uh, spectra which is not included inside the free version of spectra so let me activate spectra pro let's go installed in and uh, installed plugins and let me activate spectra pro spectra is a spectra pro is a premium plugin i will leave down below my affiliate link if you like to buy it through my affiliate link now let's go back again to our Boba builder and here inside the general you'll find that we don't have what's called display conditions but if we click because we have already installed spectra pro if we click um, refresh we need we will be able to see another option called visibility that will help us control where and when we like to uh, uh, show this uh, pop-up so let's click here and let's go back let me choose this that's why i like always to use the document overview under general here you'll find a new tab called display conditions as you can see first we can we have at least three types of triggers let's say that i like to show this when someone is exiting our website i can do it from here i can show this if i want um, the pop-up to appear on someone visiting our website for the, let's say only three days if they visit the website for the first time i'll show them the pop-up if they this if they closed it i will just wait three days then i will show it up i will show it again if they visit the website i can do this here also i can control where do you want to display this pop-up for example if you like to display it inside certain uh, pages you can just do it from the display conditions here here you can choose which page do you like to show this pop-up so let's say that i want to show it let's say specific pages and let's say i want to show this inside the services page and only in the exit intent so when someone is leaving our services page i'm going to show them this pop so let's click return to post and let's click update now let's open our website again let me just remove this and let's see as you can see oh uh, i think this should appear inside the uh, the service page maybe we haven't opened it in incognito mode so let's close it here open it again and let's see let's wait for a second it's loading it seems there's a problem here so let's just refresh it inside our admin dashboard and let's click refresh and see so now the bubble is not appearing across all of our website pages but if we just go to the services page and we try to leave it like this we'll find the discount code uh, or the 50 percent offer the 50 percent discount code is added here or is appearing here when we try to leave the services page so using the free version of spectra we can do a lot of things but if you want to have more control to where do you like to show the your pop-ups and inside which pages and if you like to show them when someone is trying to leave your website you need to use the spectra pro plugin but there is a ton of things that you can use actually with the free version so this is how you can have a free pop-up builder inside your wordpress website where people can sign up for your free lead magnet 
added into your email marketing which is fluent crm and you can send them a follow-up email with the delivery of your lead magnet hopefully you find this video helpful if you like it please give me a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create three videos a week to help you create more effective wordpress websites now thank you so much and see you in the next video